Okay, good morning guys. Um, somebody has just sent me a message asking me to do a step-by-step, -step, just doing one uh, mask at a time. And I thought these were quite fun, so I wanted to make a few more of these and with the eye patches as well. So I'm going to do from scratch. Rather than telling you, I am actually um, doing it together. So newspaper or A4 paper bit of scrap paper, whatever. Um, fold it in half. So we first of all, we want to get our basic shape. Like I said, this is how it all began. I sort of like used this as a template and then obviously adjusted the, um, but I'll show you. So basically by folding it up and on the fold of the paper, you sort of like put it on and then outline your um, shape so with doing this one because I wanted to make it a um, bit longer so that we can have the patch uh, sewn onto it so that it's got something to grip onto so I started off with your basic um, shape so after that, I've created a basic template, uh, basic templates. So then you fold it in half. Uh, that would be where the nose will be sitting. So that's your bottom. So again, on the fold, you put this fold on, uh, grab a pencil, and then just um, start to draw. Now I'll stop here, just do the eye first, and then I'll explain why. Now I could cut it into round shape, but like I said, I want to go a bit further uh, to make it more. So what I've done is stopped here, basically. And then from here, I sort of like carried on to make it, you know, just roughly, you don't have to be perfect. That sort of um, shape. So now you would have um, enough to be able to s stitch your other piece onto it. So then always have a pair of scissors that's only for your paper, which I've got this one with a string attached. Otherwise all your scissors will go blank. So start cutting it. Like I said, you don't have to be perfect. Just getting around it. You've got your guideline, so there you go. Then you want to cut the eye out. Um, fold it so you've got um, on the line, so you basically um, then you just literally make a slit so you've got enough to um, poke your scissors into it and then you would cut that out just do things like that. Well, to be quite honest with you, I don't even do it this way. I'll show you how I do it. You can cut it out that way, and then once you've cut it, then you can put it down, and then you'd be able to um, s draw in inside, and you'll get your other eye. But how I do it now, okay. Grab your pieces. Like I said, never throw them away. I've already cut out um, two shapes from here, but just want to see if I've um, be able to cut this as well. So, no. 
It's just gone too big. It is actually, that's a bit too big, so I can cut that down a bit. was um, thin felt and you'd be able to fold it in half and put that on fold and do the same thing as we just did on the paper but because it, it isn't it's a thick felt I'm just gonna put it on like so and draw against this now again with your um, pencil start in the middle somewhere and just um, start if it's a dark colour, then you would use, um, like, I don't know if it was, um, if it was, you could have red or you could have yellow, a bright colour on a dark one to show up. So just use um, a felt tip pen and it'd be easier. As long as you're cutting on the line, then it doesn't matter what colour you've used. So basically I'm drawing round it before you remove it just check that it has come through okay So once you've got your basic shape now, you want to grab a scissors. I mean, I tend to, rather than having all that getting in your way, I normally just turn, cut it down like so. So you get rid of all that around your hand. And then you've got your shape. Start cutting it round. Try and go on the line, or if anything, go inside the line so that you don't have that mark on the actual pattern on the end. So now we've got our basic pattern. Now to get the eyes, um, you could use your template like so. Rather than if you've cut uh, your paper, you can obviously cut, do it around the paper. But on the actual um, template, it's more sturdy, so it's more easier. I mean, um, I'm just going to make this a round eye, so that's fine. But if you wanted to make a different shape eye, um, then what I would do, so we've done circles there, but if I wanted to make I don't know like a that sort of shape eyes I would then just do there and point here and then lift it up and then I would then just um, work around that like that so it gives you a guideline I mean you can make it more point here but as long as you've got that bit for your kids eyes so then you could change the shapes as long as you've got the guideline where to start and where to end. So as long as you've got that inside and you know that you're right. So that's um, how I would change the eyes shapes. Okay, now again to cut this, um, you want to fold on a line. No, actually on this line like that. So you've got that line and then get your scissors and just cut a slit. Once you've got that slit, so you've got an opening, you need one of these little um, knives, uh, knives, uh, scissors, and then put it in that slit and just cut round it. So 
toenail um, scissors sort of thing. And again, keep all these pieces for further use. So once you do that, you do exactly the same thing on the other side. And then you've got your shape. And then, like I said, we wanted to um, have a pattern of that. So you've got your shape where you've cut it off already. So you know that that's going to fit. Uh, and then... Mind you, but the page isn't going to fit all those extra bits. So what I'll do, we'll do it a long way. Can you get that in? Yes, we can get that in. Okay. So can you see now? So just want an end bit. And then just a guideline to... And then here it ends here again. Over here, this bit ends here. And then you'll have these bits. Okay. So now from there, this was um, like that. So from there, I'm just going to. Like so, with your scissors, paper scissors, with the string on it, cut around your shape, It's not as if like you're making these to sell it, you're making it for your children or your loved ones. Well, I suppose you could make it as a living and sell it. And then you would adjust all these end bits. Here, it's like just having a, a knot sort of thing tied down, so you can just shape it up however you want it. Okay, so that's um, your top part, and then you'll see, I mean, can you see? Right, so that's fine. If you have a bit sticking out, then you can adjust it, obviously on the actual felt. And then what we're going to need is we're going to need an eye patch. I mean, I've just cut it up rough, um, roughly by on the material, just folding it in half and just going like so with it, like doing a D shape. But if you wanted to get a pattern, then obviously you can, and you can adjust it afterwards. But that's basically how I've done it. If you wanted to have a, a circle one, then obviously... Um, grab something that round so that you could um you could then do a circle so now we've got our um face we need to cut out our pieces i'd already cut out a couple but i'm going to show you still um they're no, just endless fun really you can do them different colors of all your I thought a green one would perhaps be nice or got all sorts of colors maybe a yellow one maybe a yellow one wouldn't go nice I don't know let's do a green one first okay so here we are with this again 
just uh, that would be better doing it this way. Okay, so this is a dark colour, so the pencil wouldn't show on it. So I'm going to use a black felt sort of thing. Again, make sure you've got your end bit here. Like I said, you can always adjust it there. I haven't got to be perfect. Just guideline. after right so that's your guideline grab your scissors I finished with the paper one now so and then begin to cut If you don't have a sewing machine, I mean, I'll be stitching these with uh, my sewing machine and I've got a zigzag stitch on it, so I'll be doing it on a zigzag. But um, you can get the stickable ones, the ones that you just peel off and stick, or you can just do it by hand, um, or you can just glue it with your normal glue. So now I've got the top part. just want to make ends at this, so... Just um, Right, so let's get our piece. And as you can see, the point bit is out a bit. So, mind you, if I put it like that, it's right. I um, just need to just trim it just slightly. Which I knew would be a bit. There you go. So then you can adjust it whichever side you want it to sit on that side or that side and now we just need to cut out a patch as well and then we're ready to sew so um, sure i've got end bits but okay so with my patch, uh, that's more than enough. Like I said, you can um, bear with me. I just fold it in half, and then I'm just going to do like a D shape. And that's my eye patch. I'm going to zigzag that round it and then I'm just going to have um, a lucky band. Make sure when you do do your lucky band is um, 
it's not too tight so it's not going to squeeze against a child's eye so rather than making it too small I'd rather you make it um, a bit larger and they can always adjust it just by folding it up and doing a little stitch um, afterwards so we've got all our pieces now I'm just going to get my sewing machine um, ready I'm going to need white and I'll do that first and then we'll need a green one to um, do the green and then I'm going to have uh, have a white um, elastic band for this one so that's it let me get my sewing machine ready and we'll continue okay now that we've got all our pieces one thing I forgot was um, the bones on on his hat so I've got all different colours and I thought red would go nice with it so I'm just going to cut red uh, let's just fold that in half. Well, not even that big. Fold it like that so you got um, so you got more than enough to make your bones. Fold it in half. Cut it. And now uh, all I want to do now is get like um, like the bone shapes. So I'm just gonna well, just that in a minute. I don't want it too big, so I'm gonna have to cut it down a bit first anyway. And then Just play around with it. Like I said, it's only for fun. Uh, like so. Perhaps um, you'd like to draw and then do it, but I'm terrible. I am. I just like I'm um, just playing around with it. Like so, that's good enough to me. And then on right on the end, we're just gonna stitch them on like so, and that's it. So let's begin. Um, put our sewing machine on. That would help if I attached it while. Okay, like I said, I'm starting with the white first. So we'll have all our pieces aside. Starting with the whites, I'm just going to uh, change it to zigzag. And I'm going to do around the eyes and then all the way around. Always cut these loose bits.
like I said, make sure then you're cleaning all your loose um, string because you don't want it to go into a child's eye. tidy up a bit well what I want to do next because it's in white while I've got the white on I want to put the um, elastic band on it as well where have I done with my elastic band there oh. Let's see. I've sort of made a measurement there because I've been making them so I've sort of been doing it to the length of my um, sewing machine I'd rather do it loose then tight so that they can adjust it and then with your you just want to have the end facing inside put it around where the eye is going to be just up here like that I'm going to con continue with the zigzags so just um things clean up all the edges but just want to show you so then you making sure that it's all straight it's not twisted and then facing the inside again roughly that same side, um, area and then doing the same thing on that side I'm just going to change the colour now and we're going to go on to doing our green parts. So I've changed my um, cotton and now we're ready to do the um, green part. Now you want your elastic bands to be at the back and you want this arch bit to be down the bottom. That's where the nose rest sits and then get your piece um, adjusted. I mean you can pin it down if you like um, decide what side you'd like to have it on actually I think I'm going to have it on um, this side so one's facing that side and one's facing this side that's fine so then you want to start I'm going to start at this end and that way if, um, careful you don't get your uh, elastic band attached caught into it so here we go start from here I don't know why it's so slow I am pressing on it, it just doesn't want to go. I think it's probably where it's um, thick, it is on the highest. Oh, here we are. Perhaps it needed a little rest. Do 
this point. I don't want it to be getting caught in the machine, so you've got to be careful. which I think it's just going in. Oops, no, oops. Okay, I just want to take it out of the machine. Right, so you've got that bit loose, um, that's fine. What I want to do, like a couple of um, stitches as if like you've got um, a line creases going through. So for that, I'm going to um, go into normal stitch. Um, start one from here. Bye. 